Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. I'm here with an unboxing and a sniff test, but not of Eeyore. Eeyore is super soft, but that is not something you want to hear in lenses. But right now I've got the Rokinon lenses. I've got two of them right here. I've got the 85T 1.5, and I also have the 35T 1.5. These are both Cine lenses. Cine meaning they are meant for video, but you can also do stills with them. Uh, what these are are fixed focal length lenses that are designed for you to shoot basically video or stills. They don't do any autofocus, but that is perfectly fine because that's not really exactly what they are for. We know that fixed focal, lens, fixed focal length lenses, prime lenses, tend to be uber duberly fantastically sharp, which is great. So this is the first time I've taken this out. This is the 35 millimeter 1.5. Steven, did I say 1.5 earlier? I did, just checking, want to make sure. Uh, so this is the Rokinon 35 1.5T. What makes it T, it, it T stops instead of F stops, is this is, a, is, is straight moving. It's smooth moving through your f-stop. There's no clicks here. So, also when you're doing your focusing, you can see that there, there are these, uh, it's like a track. You got this here, this is for your follow focus. So if you have one of those rigs that has a follow focus on, it connects right here with this and right here with this with the aperture, so that as you turn it, it turns nice and smooth. There's some nice heft to this lens, which is nice. Not hue heft, but nice heft. So that feels good. So this is just a 35, what's it smell like? E.T. E.T.'s finger, the one that lights up. Uh, so, you know, what do I expect from this? I expect it to be pretty darn sharp. The fact that it is a prime lens, there's no other mechanisms in there, there's no autofocus to, to worry about, uh, it's primarily going to be pretty sharp. I love the fact that you can sit here and cycle through the T-stops without having any clicks. What's good about that is if you're on a Nikon, say, below a D7100, you can't change the aperture when it's in live view. But with something like this, all you do is just change the aperture. That's a good thing. That means you don't have to worry about it. You just change the aperture, you see it happen on your screen, and you go from there. So that is the 35 1.5T. Let's check out the 85 1.5 as well. So these aren't as expensive as your autofocus partners uh, that other people will make. That's because they don't have to worry about the autofocus motors. Wow, this is much, oh cool. Pretty light, nice chunk of chunk, nice hunk of glass in there. Same thing here. You've got your focus mechanism right here, and you also have the stops right here. Oh, another thing I didn't mention is that on the side is where you have your T stops and your focus. So that if there's a focus puller, meaning somebody standing on the side, they can see where the focus is, and then they can also see where the aperture is. So. Wow, nice piece of glass. That is a nice piece of glass in this 85 one point. Five. Made in Korea, not made in China. That's always a good thing. So I expect to see some sharp, lens, sharp images, sharp focus, sharp video coming from this. We're actually using a 24 millimeter 1.5T on the Canon 5D Mark III right here. You can see how sharp it looks and how the colors are. Everything looks pretty cool. I'm looking forward to trying these out. Alan's camera carries these bad boys. That's pretty much it for an unboxing and a sniff test of these Rokinon lenses. I'm looking forward to checking them out, seeing how sharp they are, and seeing how they are used for video. Don't forget, you can also shoot stills with them as well. You just have to manually focus them. And that's it. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.